Oh, Scott, it's Tamashi here, and I want to congratulate Space Cowboy for winning the $30 gift card giveaway. Thank you for all who entered. If you want to talk or chill with me, just feel free to join the Discord down below in the description. Moving on, in this video, we're going to be discussing team tactics, how to play like the elite. Stay tuned. Starting off, I'll be revealing these tips in order of importance. From most important to not so important, but it's still important. First tip, master the basics. Mastering the basics include mastering your combat and mastering your movement or evasiveness. This will boost your survivability in every game. You'll be able to stay up longer and support your team. This is a team-based game. You're bound to be jumped by your opponents, 3v1s or even 4v1. Elite players know how to handle their own. If you master the basics, you master the game. Tip number two. Communication is absolutely key. You need to communicate. Come up with in-game strategies to confuse or even pull a fast one over on your opponent for the victory. Let me know when you get your ass handled. Do not be silent. Let your teammates know when you need help. Swallow your pride and don't just die in silence. This is a team effort. Your L's are the team's L's. Tip number three. Split up in two teams of two. Everyone needs a dedicated partner that they can run back to or that they have to have their back during the game. You're still gonna be playing as a team of four, but now you are your brother's keeper. You have that one partner that you can rely on in case you're outnumbered. Imagine, you're fighting, you see your partner getting handled, 3v1. You slide through, you handle two of them because you and your whole team mastered the basics so they can't even keep up with your advanced combat, evasive skills, and movement. Bada bing, bada boom, that 3v1 turned into a 3v2 and just for that, they got punished. Tip number four. Jutsu combos, your team must have synchronization. So we master the basics, we have communication, and we run in teams of two. You and your brother in arms should have jutsus that complement each other. For example, me and my boy Frank, F.Flow, he mains range, I main healer. So what I would do, throw a shadow stitching jutsu, then he comes in and throw a majestic flame. You and your teammate, brother in arms, should have a one shot combo. And that just goes for something like combat game mode. Now let's talk flag battle, for example. Again, me and my partner are arms, F.Flow. I'm a healer, he's a range. I main Heavy Boulder Jutsu, Anaki's version. And he runs Angelic Advent and Chidori. I slow the enemy down so they can't touch him. And what he does is zoom right across the map and deliver the flag. Now a majority of you watching this video are geniuses. I'm pretty sure you can come up with a crazy combo with your partner arms to assure your victory. Ah, now you're seeing how this is building up to become an elite. Tip number five, game mode builds. You and your partner need to sit down and brainstorm jutsu combination builds for each game mode. One of the most biggest rookie mistakes is thinking that you can come in to any game mode using the same build. You cannot use a combat build if you're trying to do a flag battle. It just doesn't work that way. Yes, you need a combat build. Yes, you do need a flag build. Yes, you do need a base battle build. No, you do not need a barrier battle build. You do not play that game mode. Snoopy Tiger, please take it off the fucking game. Thank you. Tip number six. Show good sportsmanship. You've done all the tips and now you're in the lead. You and your team literally came from the bottom and now you're at the top. You know how it feels to be punished by Platinums. Toxic, teabagging, offensive messaging. So when you're out here handling these other players, please do not ruin it for them. Season three is about to drop and we're gonna have so many new players. Show good sportsmanship and just comment GG at the end of the game if you wanna say something. Or even teach them. Keeping this game clean and keeping this community with positive vibes and make it enjoyable for all the newcomers that's coming to the game. Now, there will be war. There will be returning toxic players to the game all of those who hated and said the game was trash are now coming back so be prepared guys it's us versus them the loyals versus the traitors i hope these tips helped you guys stay tuned for my next video coming up i love you all and we have 400 yes sir let's got it tamashi out